Myers called this morning and wanted to make sure he could be here earlier if y'all were interested unless you're on the way until 11. 11 he tonight. said he would probably be here about 10. Maybe he can talk to you for a few minutes then. Uh, yeah, well, whatever you all you know, can would be fine with me. So, if we can run through the stuff and we got to carry 9.30 and we'll take Joe around right after that. Just quickly, he's trying to get out of buying this lunch. Is that his plan? No, no, that's not buying it. He just, you know, wait, sure. Uh, Somebody can bring this breakfast or something. I'm trying to get my daughter real quick because she can't find her keys. Oh, no. I'm trying to get my daughter's breakfast. Oh, no. He will holler at us uh, anytime after 10. He goes right now. Okay, thank you, Nancy. I love the problem. Uh, I think the ramp looks fine out there, but we talked about putting some shrubs in front of it. Mm -hmm. Plus, people are walking between that tree and the ramp. The grass there. That? Yes. And, yeah, but the grass is I'm all guilty of that myself. I'm sorry. I did it too. <laughs> Still do. But if, and then they'll probably just walk around that tree. Probably won't help much. But we wonder about putting just four-five shrubs or whatever across there mm -hmm. and kind of hide the ramp, make the ramp look better also. And, and she says, um, correct me if I'm wrong, and uh, she thinks that the high school will uh, <coughs> plan on for <coughs> I haven't been able to get a hold of, of who I thought it was, so I okay. would not sure if they will. Okay. Yeah, um, that may not may not work. Well, we might be able to get somebody to plan that could you supervise it? Mm -hmm. Because they won't know how to do it. Yeah. Um, to die. I went to Massac Nursery yesterday because they're kind of my go-to place. And, um, you know, it, it sounds like he said rather than dig, Blaine said rather than dig up the whole thing, just put them in a hole and put mulch around them. And he told me how to do the mulch so that the grass wouldn't grow up through it. And so, um, you know, I think if we can just put, I don't know, four or five, um, and I'm thinking maybe the holly, not the ones with the, the smooth edge holly. Um, and I, I did get some prices, and it depends on which variety, but it's anywhere from like $16 to $20 a piece. Um, and it depends on how tall you want them. I think we're not going to hide the ramp, but maybe we can make an accent where people's eyes are drawn more toward the planting. And I was thinking, you know, three or four hollies, and then maybe a maybe a um, knockout rose in the in front of them to just kind of draw your eye to the planting rather than the ramp. And if we put them to the south edge of that tree, you know, along there, um, it will kind of hide what's underneath the ramp. <clears throat> will they grow under that tree? Okay. They, no, I wouldn't try to put anything directly under the tree. Okay. One thing, it's a maple, so the roots are real close to the surface. And there's, I've tried at home. You just can't plant yeah. anything under a maple. Right. There's just no place to dig. Okay. Um, I think, though, that if we can get people to quit walking through there and can kind of scratch it up and put down some kind of ground cover, yeah. um, you know, we can make that look nicer. Right now, I think, because of the construction, it's probably really hard packed underneath that tree because I'm sure they've had big equipment going through there. <clears throat> um, but, you know, it's going to take a little while to recover. Jason, I'll call that to James um, Reed and, and uh, see if we can pay for that at Belvin County. So, and and maybe the, the digging law, maybe $500, you think? Oh, I, I really don't. Be that I don't think it'd be that much, really. Um, the main thing, though, I think we almost need to wait till spring or at least till we've had a good mm -hmm. rain because it's just. You damage things when yeah. you plant them when it's Well, I've got dry. to have that money spent by the first of the year. Oh, okay. So 
All right. Month, uh, well, maybe another month we get some yeah. rain or yeah, even I'm just sure water it real good. I'm sure we'll get some rain. You know, maybe we could get maybe in November. Yeah. 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 There's things like that plant. Okay. And we can do the preparation even. Does she look young today? About 30 ish? <laughs> they can't be more than 38. <laughs> I wish. Are you going to the reunion? When is it? I got something to mail about back on that. It's, it's, it's in October, isn't it? It's like 10 the years ago. First in. week, like October 1st. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have to look and see. Something like that. I was over at my mom's house the other day. She was cleaning some stuff out. She had a picture of our 10 year class reunion. Is that the one we had at the country club? I think so, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to go. Yeah. I'm going to be out of town. Yeah. Joey's going, though. She called me. Oh, is she? Yeah. She's like filling out the form. She's like, Lori, you got to help me think of some 80 songs. I'm like, oh, my gosh, how could you not tell her? Yeah. <laughs> she know you can't remember that? Oh, I know. <laughs> I know 80 songs. <laughs> Minnesota, is that where she was? Good morning. Oh, winner's there. Oh. That little survey you were supposed to hand in tonight for showing the development. No. I didn't either. And I've lost, I can't find my I don't even know what you're talking about. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe I'm going to be able to go. Bill time. So does that go on? So you, did you have anybody that paid or no one? Hmm. We want a good thing to get out, I guess. We want to try to, you know, if somebody does want it, <coughs> we want to know about it quite a bit in advance. You know, yeah. like, we'd like to. That way, when you're in the area or something, we or do you kind of like try to finish all yours up first? Yeah, we kind of like set a cutoff day like June, maybe first, you know, eight, you know and if we don't. They call us after that, then we'll just do it the following year or yeah. something like that, so we can plan on you know, doing it. But did you do any at John or Brookport this year? Not this year. Brookport bought a couple of rows of cold man from us. Mm -hmm. That's all they did in Joppa. You know, somebody I heard through the grapevine that that mayor or whatever they were going to whatever that title is, they're going to call me. President, I'm uh -huh. yeah. President, okay. President of the Yeah, I, I didn't know if they called it a mayor or a president, but they were supposed to call me, but they never did yet. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know really what they need. Uh, we don't, if they wanted gold, man, we don't hardly have any. But, uh, but we didn't have any, a lot to really start with. We right. made one load this past year, so. We'll get back to mowing then after. Yeah, after this, after tomorrow, we're probably gonna get back to mowing on the porch there. At least three people probably. <coughs> you have a machine that puts posts in the ground, like stop sign posts. We, I think when we do it, I think we just kind of push them in with a, a backhoe. I didn't know we had a dozer at one time. Did you go back and look for it? Yeah. That day? <laughs> yeah, I found it the first thing, you know. Yeah. Right there in front of my face. You know. <laughs> yeah, I think we either needed a dozer before that, you didn't know if you had one. That's right. If we needed it, I don't know if we had it. school. 
schedule one yet. No, that's one thing I was going to tell you. I'm glad you brought that up. The next two weeks, it starts next Monday. Okay. Okay. So the next two weeks, I won't be here. Uh, if you need, I mean, this plane is on the following week, August or October 1st, I think it is, on that day. I think Leah will probably bring them down here. She'll prepare them because I'll be back on the weekends. I'll be back on Saturday and Sunday and have to leave back on Sunday. So I'll come in here Saturday or Sunday and go over them and sign them all, and then she can bring them down here. Okay. Yeah, yeah she's done that. Thanks. Now, uh, is Dave just in charge of what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Like, don't forget it. Uh, very good time. No. I don't know if he's even in. I think he's out west. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's no reason to leave anybody. After the one with is done, we've got several projects that we started that we need to finish. compliment on your tar and chip and he said them guys have been all over the country in a hurry and this guy don't even live in Massac County <laughs> he said everywhere I drive you know, tar and chip. that's odd though you you made a couple compliments to him and neither one of them came from Massac County residents so, <laughs> so you're doing your something right, right. somebody's noticing that, that may well that may speak good for our county I mean I think it does maybe we're doing things a little bit Better than the surrounding county, though. What was my other compliment? I can't even remember. There, there was one about the grading the roads. Or so. Oh, it was trimming. Uh, trimming, uh, yeah. Tr that trimming, a, trimming. A, a farm I go down the next highway or next county or two. Yeah. He tired of knocking his satellite stuff off the top on limbs, and they won't do anything about it. And he's, to be blunt, I'm sure he's done some work on some county roads just to, just once he travels all the time, just to save his equipment. a week makes in the weather. <laughs> it's nice, I it? can't get much better than that. It doesn't make it good to be in the office, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it makes you want to go to school for 10 days, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta rub it in. Yeah. Pour some salt on it. There you go. I deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll be putting that uh, new style culvert in. Uh, 
drive down there and look at this thing on these days. I'd say probably within the next month we're definitely going to be started on it and not done with it. But I'm, I was kind of hoping that they wouldn't do it while I was gone. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see it too, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I don't really know yet. Well, what's different about it? Well, it's not really, I mean, it's just a, it's not a culvert that come, you have to assemble it. It's almost, it comes in pieces like a grain bin would, and you have to, you have to bolt it all together. There's like 42 or three pieces that you have to bolt together. Well, is that because it's so big? Because it's so big, yeah. And, and, all it. and it's odd shaped, right? It's a, yeah, it's more like a, an egg shape. It's, you know, I mean, it's an arch type, yeah. yeah. It's a structural plate arch. But it's like polymer, do they, they still put that on those? No, that not not. This one's aluminized or something. It's, isn't it? it's galvanized. It's really thick galvanizing. You know, we kind of planned on trying to spray it with some oil after we get it assembled to give it some added protection. Where's it go? <coughs> Where you put it? All the truck road. There's an old wood deck, just box cover type thing over on Waldo Church Road, just west of the intersection of Waldo Church. Oh yeah, I wonder about uh, like the spray on bed liner. What would something like that do to a culvert? Um, would that seal that up? No, it probably would. would. That stuff's pretty hard, isn't it? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Probably be a pretty good coating for it. Yeah, I don't know how you would. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. you'd have to have something portable to get out there on the job and do mm -hmm. it after it's put together. But yeah. But, you know, the oil we use for the road is basically kind of tar. Yeah, or just good coating. Yeah. You know. Probably. <coughs> Maybe time you get back in three weeks, we'll have a chance to you know look over those uh, subdivision, subdivision things that you okay. you know request for us to read over. Okay. And see what we can do, get some answers on that. All right. Thank you. John. Sounds good. Thank you. We've only got about seventy-five properties. Most of those are new property, which is also a good thing. Mm -hmm. I've uh, I put in several papers. Some of it talks about uh, the tax system. I, th I think it's important for you guys to see information on the tax system and, and an overview for PTEL, and then a CPI chart, and then the budget, when the budgets are supposed to be in for levy purposes. I just put some documentation in here for you guys to review, just to kind of help if you have any questions and understanding the tax cycle and what, what goes on and, and what PTEL means, because, you know, as I stated many times new property is a very important thing when you're levying and, and the taxing bodies like to know about new property if they're if they're levying properly because that's that's not subject to detail but anyway the main reason i'm here is that first document which has to do with the current ordinance on building permits and as you know i've had issues with problems with people getting building permits. <coughs> 
and so I went up and got the, a copy of the of the ordinance, and along with it, Patrick uh, also got me a, a, a amendment to the to the ordinance where uh, the county has said that they would uh, fine two hundred and fifty dollars, and I think that that fee is a little low. Um, if you look at paragraph four of this first of the ordinance, uh, failure to comply. It, it gives my office the, the right to uh, issue citations. Um, and, and the key thing in that is not to exceed $500 for any one violation. Um, I, what I would like to do is give everybody an opportunity to come forth in the public that has found a building permit in the past. Um, that's one of the things I'd like to do, but I would like that to to have a discussion on if that fee could possibly be a little bit higher so that people would be more apt to comply instead of having a disregard for that ordinance. This one here says that not to exceed 500, but this other one on this other Well, you guys did an amendment to it for okay. 250, and I crossed it off, and I was just, I was just, this is what I would like to, to see would, would be a 500 okay. instead of 250. Again, this is you guys' decision. This isn't mine. Um, but all I know is is, is that e eventually here I'm going to hopefully get a report that's going to be generated that's going to show me all the property where people have built and not got building permits. And like I said, I would like to give the public every opportunity to come forth. You know, what, what if we put something in the paper without the notice and just get everyone away? 60 days. Well, I, I'm thinking if we made any amendment to the ordinance that we'd start at January 1st. So if as long as they get in here by January 1st of 2014, then we'll be fine. I mean, that's kind of my, I, I don't know what you guys' feeling is. But I mean, we need to put something in. Oh, absolutely. I, I think we, you know, I need to, that's what I'm saying. I can't just say it without it getting the information a, out there to, to the public. You know, maybe some type of notice like in your office door or something like that. So well we sent we sent every every taxpayer got it with their tax bill, mm -hmm. the ordinance. So that got sent out. So yeah. I think it also, you know, again I, I need to put something in the paper, mm -hmm. block it so that the people can see it. But they need to understand they they have an opportunity to come forth before we find things and then end up finding them on top of picking it up. And again I'm just trying to See how everybody else feels about this. I mean, I'm just the enforcer of it. I, you know, it's whatever you guys want to. Mm -hmm. Gerald and Jeff, I mean, you know, he just currently is 250, and he wants to know yeah. if we can get a raise it up to 500. Don't mean that it has to be 500. Right. It doesn't mean that it has to be 500 because there are situations. I mean, my biggest concern as an assessor are three things: new construction, pole barn garages, <clears> and additions. If somebody puts on a porch and it's not gonna that's not gonna be worthy of a big fine or anything like that. It's not gonna contribute a, a lot of, of, of value. But it's it's what I'm seeing people put, you know, we're gonna build a garage and it turns out to be a thirty by fifty pole barn. You know. Uh, Gary, has anyone been fined at all? No, I have not fined anybody at this point. And uh, Tammy they never I don't believe there was I mean, I wouldn't have no no, all I know is if, if it would be no different than anybody else that issues a citation, that issue a citation and then you have to go to court and um, argue, the case. argue the case if that's, that's the thing. But um, again, I would make certain that I checked all our records to make sure and including, and, and something I'm going to do too is I'm going to be sending more correspondence letters to people saying, you know, so that I don't have some of this stuff happening when I pick up something new and say, you know, we don't have any record of a building permit. You know, I want to be uh, fair about this. I want it to be gradual, but you've got at some point, names down there. I've got a list of parcel numbers, and I haven't took it to the point of finding out who each of these people are. But it's it's about fifty so far. It's pretty substantial. That's just stuff that in just a, pockets that we've discovered. <coughs> I don't remember this whole county yet. Mm -hmm. What he's talking about, you know, this fall they're going to do that. They do that flyover, um, and he put it, that new image on top of the the last image. And it shows any new, it shows anything. So he's just trying to make people aware, you know, uh, they need to notify his office, you know, by the end of the year. Because so. 
Because ultimately, it goes back to what I've been trying to say all along. When people aren't assessed, everybody else is picking up that burden that they're not. And it's, it just becomes a fairness, mm -hmm. a fairness issue. It's, you know, but right now, it's kind of like, well, what's the worst thing that's going to happen to me? I'm going to have a $250 fine. And it may take him three or four years to find. I've only been here just over two years, and but I found quite a bit of stuff this last this last go around. And I'm, I'm talking substantial. I'm not talking mm -hmm. just little. You know, I'm talking pole barns, several yeah. pole barns. Yeah. You know, and they're and they're you know I mean minimally. You know, some of these pole barns cost you know seventy five thousand and up. Yeah. They're nice, you know. They're nice pull bars. I understand sometimes, you know, they have gravel. Sometimes they have concrete. But you know, I, I got to do a little bit of due diligence there when mm -hmm. I when I see something like that. Not necessarily looking for an answer today, but okay. I just kind of putting it out there for you. Yes, yeah, you Not necessarily have to read through this. Okay, boom. Well, thank you, there, Mister. I do have one other thing I'm going to give you, kind of, kind of keep you up to date. You know, my my charts were looking pretty good till this last month. Looks like my kindergarten. Was uh, well, <laughs> this, this is way out there. Well, these are this is these are telling me there's a problem here, and the problem being some of these were properties I haven't been out to reassess that area yet, and some of these are foreclosures, which it's you know how do I know what the inside of some of these look like? And unfortunately, they, they appear to be usable cells in the cells ratio study, which is kind of skews the skews my you know study. Because if you see, you see how that line right there, how close a lot of these are, but look how many are above. Mm -hmm. So it, it can skew your your study if you you know, and again, these are not a definite the state has said these are gonna be in the study, but these I suspect will be. I just kind of want to keep you posted on what's what's going on. Oh okay. You can see where that doesn't look very uniform, does it? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and like I said, I had I think I had about six cells that were foreclosed properties that sold for maybe fifteen thousand on the books for forty, fifty. Because you can't, you just can't always tell. Otherwise, does anybody have any questions for me? Again, we're I'm looking to try to publish. I hope by by sometime in January, which will be a little bit earlier than we have in the past. So I'm trying to keep getting things done earlier and earlier. You may have made contact with the superintendent. Yes, I have. Okay. Um, we had a very nice conversation uh, yesterday, and we're going to meet here uh, next week and, I, and, and discuss the uh, implications of, of that one parcel that could uh, could affect the property taxes in that, that school district. So, and I did have some correspondence with an attorney out of Chicago for that uh, for. Lafarge and um, explain that you know it was important that the superintendent was involved in this process because the, the school district has the most to lose here. Uh oh, on that note, <laughs> unless anybody doesn't have any other questions, you got a little gravel to get some of the Dump trucks and semis, they're at Fort Campbell and Fort Knox, right? Well, no. I didn't see him up there yesterday. The semi came from Springfield. Well, mm -hmm. uh, we looked at one a couple, maybe it was last month, uh, there was some at Fort Knox. Well, they told me yesterday, I asked him, I said, you know, this guy up there, Carl, somebody, I said, give him all these hundred beats. Well, I said, what are you going to do? We have war. That's by now. He said, they had thousands of brand new ones over there. So, so, no miles on it. Probably cross more to ship them back from all this. Yeah, I guess. River tire cranes, that's going to keep in the shop? No, that's a cherry picker. They call them the, the, the um, great big tires and just drive them oh. to the job. And, or you can haul it in one. I see that list with you looking at it. Uh, Fort Campbell had some of them down there. Mm -hmm. Good see that last year.
was the one thing I really didn't ask him. You know, they grade those things based on their condition. Uh, with the mechanic that they've got there, I guess if one of those things needed some work, they could do it. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a lot of rubber tire land loaders down there, right at Fort Campbell. See, the city come up with that old back truck. They haul them lambs on it. But I, uh, I think we went after it, but I can't remember where it was at. I told him most of that stuff right there, I'm pretty sure once we keep it a year, it'll belong to us. So if we decide yeah. we want to sell it, we can sell it. So you're familiar with what all you're looking for there? Because that would be. Yeah. Yeah, one thing on there, I think I know what it is, but sheep something rover sheep put it's got the big metal things that bust up or push the dirt down yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a big drum and then these are welded on it about all six inches long and they could pull it or, or well now most of them motorized but just packs the ground i don't know if the has got one of them or not but Last week. Those will come out of the medical, won't they? Possibly, maybe. Should. Okay. Yeah, I'm always. just curious. Yeah. Some of them, sometimes I'll see them more. Um, Last week, the city street department dug up and poured concrete on the other side for our generators. So we've got that done. They did that. I think we'll have to pay for concrete. They dug it out for them. Yeah. <coughs> Did you get the generator going? It's running. It's uh, I think last time I talked to Skinner, it's only at 60 hertz, which is what it's supposed to be. So we just got to get it picked. Once that cures, get it picked up, and moved over there. Uh, trying to find a manual for it. They said that's the big thing. Before we can really figure out how we're going to wire it in the building and get a manual schematics and see how it's wired in. You just go on the internet and figure out. Right. Right. Yes, I mean it's got a John Deere motor, brand new one in it, but it was made in Pakistan, and that's where the electronics were put together in. Oh, you gotta get. You mean the engines made over there? Well, the engines made here, but it was shipped over there and all put together. All assembled. <coughs> um, the city unloaded that with that great big loader they had, uh, and they'll pack it over there. I'm sure, or, or I've got the loader. What's the deal with that? I mean, it, I mean, I see these young girls come. Of course, it's interesting here with that ramp out there. It sounds like the chain gang coming up through there. <laughs> you know, they're coming. You, you hear them coming. That's <laughs> what, I mean, what really puts in your mind that building was built for two cells for females. Now we've got three. So it means you got to take more men cells to use for females. So you got 16 girls and three cells. I know how the old teenage girls are, so I can't imagine locking them in a room. I know girls. I hear that's that's an older thing. Some is in there. Season. Do they fight them? Do the girls fight them? Yeah. We have less trouble out there. I mean, we don't have a lot of trouble over anything.
biggest thing I have is just a pretty budget computer. I mean, I'm just looking at, we had some of it $3,000 in 90 days out. Yeah. When I see that, those are all, we've already signed and claimed on all those, haven't we? Yeah. Probably, who knows how many meetings ago. Taser International, right there in the like, middle of the way down. Yeah. Okay, that's what you did. You split that with Joe and Sheriff. Yeah. That's why it's the same. Okay. So we have about two this year and probably two next year because the ones that we had, Judge Foster got for us when he was here, so that's been a while ago. And they were used when we got them. Mm -hmm. They won't fix them anymore. What yeah. happens to them once you, what do you do here, old ones? We send them back. Either. I mean, we don't want to dispose of them. Once we sent back the last time, they just told us they couldn't fix them, so they kept them. Can't even have some fun with a used taser here, <laughs> man. <get them. laughs> Just trying to liven things up around here. Ted, when will that concrete be cured? Uh, it's a map out over there. I'd say the next couple of weeks. When the city of Metropolis, there at the very bottom, four from the bottom, that's just like the, it's, uh, on the first page, four from the bottom. That's just like the water and electric bill. Yeah. yeah. The one on the back page is Orthopedic Association. What do we have? Somebody. Uh, yeah, so it seems like we took one for a knee problem in the hearing. That's probably what that is. So, uh, yeah. What's that last one? Charm tag. Okay. I believe it's mattresses. That should be in that stack. Oh, okay. Right there. We had a couple weeks ago, like you went down to Tri County to borrow something. We had so many inmates and we were running out. This thing's supposed to last about a year, maybe 18 months. Depends on how big inmates you have laying on the mattress. Do we need to have any more discussion on the personnel issues?